verse 29. Romans 1, 29. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God. That's right. Let's park there for a minute. Yeah. yeah. Come on. With the soul who hates God, the queer, the Bible perverter, the evolutionist. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Second Chronicles 19.2. And wow. Jehu, the son of Hanani, the seer, went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, Shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? We know who hates the Lord. Yep, yep, that's right. Shouldest thou love them and hate the Lord? Therefore is wrath upon thee from before the Lord. Right. If you do something that occurs wrath from God, know you should love them and hate the Lord. Right. Good. Psalms 139, 21. Come on. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am not I grieved for those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalm 11, verse 5. If the Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked in him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. If it sounds like God's loving people, he's raining fire and brimstone on them. That's right. Malachi 1 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. That's right. Romans 9 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. That's right. So God hates some people, and if you want to be right with God, you need to hate some people. Right, good. All right, back to Romans 1.30. Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boosters, and manners of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, try right. not to do the same, but have pleasure in them to do them. That's good. Revelation 20, verse 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Revelation 21 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Remember that. Um, let's look at the book of Jude. That's good. That's good, bro. Jude, verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Right. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not. But what they knew naturally is brute beasts and those things that corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward yep. and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. Yep. These are spots in your feast of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Yep. Clouds they are without water, carried about with winds, trees whose fruit withereth without fruit, twice dead, Amen. plucked up by the roots, Good. Right. Amen. raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Right. Matthew 12, 32. And whosoever speaketh the word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Right. Finally, Revelation 22, 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Amen. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, wow. God shall take away his part out of the book of the life, right. and out of the holy city, yep. from the things which are written in this book. So no, God doesn't love everybody, not everybody can get saved. Right. That's what the Bible says, get over it. Amen. That's right. Right. Thank you, God, again, for your perfect word. Please help us love it and use it. Please help us use it to win souls. Thank you for the souls ever won over the weekend. Please help us do that again. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That's good. That's good, right?
According to BBC News, Pope Benedict XVI is a cat lover. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's pretty bad right there. I mean, you know, that whole thing about like claiming to be the vicar of Christ is one thing. 